Okay. Uh, just such a tough, disappointing loss at home. I um, uh, just very difficult. Probably one of the best halves of basketball that this team has played, and then one of the worst halves of basketball that this team has played. And, and um, we know that that's not good enough to win in the Big Ten. Kate was in here by herself a few minutes ago, and it looked like at one point she was pulled back to tears. What's the mood of the locker room? Yeah, I mean, they're pretty emotional. They, they feel like that we're a better team than what we're showing and, and what we're playing, and that's, um, that's uh, really tough. That's really tough to swallow. They've poured a lot into this, and then to watch it slip away um, with a couple, you know, yeah, just um, turnovers, stops, uh, you know, giving up offensive rebounds, you know, things like that, those, those little things that you let slip away, and it costs you games in the Big Ten. is keeping your group from completing the game? Yeah, I don't really know for sure yet. Um, I'm, not, I'm not really sure why we can't put together uh, four full quarters right now. It's just um, perplexing, and we're going to have to figure some things out. From your court side view, especially in the third quarter, was your team just tight trying to make shots? Did you sense there was anxiety? Or some of the shots were really short. They weren't necessarily bad looks, but they, were, they weren't even close. Did you sense there was a nervousness there about let's not let this happen again? Yeah, there might be. I mean, there might be. There's, you know, obviously been a lot of attention, a lot of people asking about the third quarters and what's going wrong in the third quarters, and that can sometimes get into, you know, players' heads and they're pressing and they're wanting to kind of, you know, get off to a great start. But then what is the problem is then you, um, you, you miss a few shots and then it lets you kind of let that take the wind out of your sails a little bit. And now um, you're, you're not boxing out and rebounding. You're giving them multiple looks. You're, you know, um, uh, you, you, have to, you have to be willing and able to just kind of lock up that much tighter defensively. And we didn't do that. Was that the, the biggest thing in the second half, boxing out, keeping them from keeping them off the glass. Well, there were lots of things. I mean, we turned the basketball over uh, a hefty amount once again and, and you know, kind of you know, silly turnovers that lead to easy, immediate baskets from them. But also, um, you know, they took 88 shots and most of that because of 25 offensive rebounds. Could you get mad when you're just missing shots? I mean, were you, were you okay with where the shots were going? And yeah, no, I'm not mad about missed shots, you know, other than the fact that, um, you know, I, I think that we know that uh, if we're getting, you know, layups or shots in the paint that we have to make those. Um, but more importantly is just, um, you know, missed shots is nothing to get mad about. Turnovers are something to get mad about. Missed box outs are something to get mad about. You know, missed defensive assignments where, you know, you're trying to, you know, force them to use a ball screen and you let them reject a ball screen. You know, those kinds of uh, mistakes are things to get mad about. Amy, what do you want to see from your team these next couple of days of practice? Um, I, you know, I want to see um, s sense of urgency, uh, continuing to um, come together and, and um, you know, find ways to continue to um, keep pressing on the gas and, and doing what we need to heading into the conference tournament. What's that line between wanting to beat the other defense down the court, which you did a lot in the first half, winning in transition and going too fast and being impatient and making decisions that are, you know, unwise because you were trying to go too fast to beat them down? Yeah, I mean, that's that's kind of that um, balance that's just always been there. But I think our team plays its best when we can play with pace and when we can get out and push. So we have to be uh, willing to live with at times maybe some um, unwise decisions to be able to to be able to continue to play with pace. Thanks, Amy.